What's up everyone? In this quick tip tutorial, I'm gonna teach you guys how we can launch an effect stack with the press of just one button on our MIDI controller. We're also gonna discuss the various ways in which we can launch effect stacks within our composition and the reasons as to why one method might be better than another. Yeah, let's hop into it. All right, so let's say you wanna launch multiple effects at once with just one button on your MIDI. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take whatever effects are in that stack and we're gonna load them into our composition panel, our group panel, or our layer panel here. And as you can see here, once I hit this one button on my controller, all three of these effects that are in this stack will bypass and unbypass. So to do this is pretty easy. We're just gonna head over to our shortcuts. We're gonna click on edit MIDI. And then for whatever effects are in that stack, we're just gonna click on that bypass button. And then you're gonna press what, whatever that one button is on your controller for all three of these. Just make sure that you set the on and off colors for your MIDI mapping to be the same for all the effects within that stack. If you enjoy videos like these, we got a full classroom and it's way beyond what we got here on YouTube. Plugins, loops, insider tips and tricks from experienced VJs. Now, if you haven't yet, check us out. We got a week free trial and let's get back to your video. So now that we know how to map out multiple effects to just one button on our controller, Let's talk about the different methods for creating effect stacks and the reasons as to why one of those methods might be better than the other in certain situations. All right, so there's a couple of different ways in which we can launch effect stacks within our composition. The first is gonna be through the method that I just showed you, and that's gonna be through loading that stack of effects within our composition, group, or layer panels here. Or what we can do is we can create a video router that is a stack of effects and we will load that into a layer and we will just activate that um, video router as a clip within the layer and then it'll affect everything beneath it. Now, generally, this is how I like to run my effect stacks and there's a reason for that. Whenever we are loading a bunch of different effects within our composition panel, things can get a little bit uh, performance heavy and so that's also gonna be contingent on your hardware, so if you have a capable enough GPU and CPU, um, you should be fine. But if you are just loading tons of effects and they're all active at once within your composition, you might experience some frame loss. So pay attention to your um, FPS counter down here. And the reason why this happens is because whenever we have um, effects loaded into our composition panel, it's actually affecting your entire Resolume composition. Whereas if we load um, them into a video router and just set them up through our layers. It's only affecting everything beneath that layer. So yeah, again, things can just get pretty um, heavy performance wise if you just are firing off tons of effects within uh, your composition panel. So just pay attention to the plugins that you're using as well because some plugins are a little bit more performance demanding than the other. Now, on the flip side of that, we actually have a major advantage for loading in effects stacks within our composition panel. And this big reason will simply be because it allows us to manage and organize our Resolume composition in a much more efficient way. And that's actually going to be dependent on your composition. And so this might not apply to everybody, but if you're already managing a bunch of layers for clips and whatnot, having multiple layers for effects stacks can just be too much to manage, right? So the way that I have my workflow set up is I run four different layers that are effect stack layers, and then I have two layers for my groups that's set to just one fader on my MIDI controller, and then three layers for clips. But I see a lot of people running and managing multiple layers for clips alone in order for them to stack and build scenes. But again, that's gonna be dependent on how you have your Resolume composition set up. So if you are managing too many layers already, you might want to go the composition panel route. And if you are struggling with hardware limitations and performance issues, you might want to try the video router into a layer route. But either way, I would recommend trying out a mixture of both. You should be able to get away with um, most effect stack combinations um, within your composition panel. Just depends on how many effects you run. Again, the plugins and your hardware limitations. And I would still recommend setting up one layer at least for video router effect stacks. But yeah, guys, that's how I have mine set up. I highly re recommend 
that y'all try out both methods. That's going to sum it up for this quick tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.